All right, just got a notification saying Daniel Pratt of the Flat Earth community is running for president in 2024. And Chile is suing AFA accountability for all gay um, for defamation. This has been an amazing morning. This is going to be a good day. Girls, girls and boys, boys and them and in-betweens, whatever you want to be. Enjoy. Go ahead. Be that. Uh, interesting. <laughs> interesting uh, day today. Uh, I always put up videos uh, in, you know, sometimes I have to explain that I know by the title you guys are going to think that it's definitely clickbait. Uh, alas, tis not clickbait. Welcome AFA crew and accountability for all members. But the title of this is Delete Laws Sues Accountability for All for Free Speech in World's Dumbest Law Suit. This is uh, this is absolutely actually 100 percent um, accurate. And, and I would say that uh, this suit doesn't just go after free speech, knowing that this is going to be public. Uh, he still basically talks shit uh, about auditors uh, as well. And this is a guy that just recently called out uh, Long Island audits uh, on his ride along. Long Island audits did a ride along with the police department. And he was cordial with the cop and they, they, you know, did their attempt at bridging a gap, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So delete laws then uh, goes on to bash him and say, oh, you were too nice. We need to push back. We need to push back. We need to push back. And then he releases a video yesterday where he's so far up a cop's ass. You could probably figure out what he had for lunch when he was last in Boston. Okay. But you guys want deets, uh, deets, you guys want <laughs> guys want deets <laughs> let me uh let me get you the deets <laughs> and, and it's actually funny to read i'm not going to put it up on screen um and, and i i pretty much got this like right after he filed it uh wasn't served with it yet um i just uh got a copy of it uh so let me let me read you a little bit i don't want you guys to think that uh, i'm bluffing right so here's the pdf all right Accountability for all. Okay. Other parties were sued as well. <clears throat> Let me do my reading voice. Uh, he, by the way, he's suing me for $700,000. We're going to explore all of this. This is really, really fun. Um, I mean, and wasting, this is like an absolute vexatious litigation. Uh, when it, it just, it, it's really wonderful. Um, let's see. Um, okay, here we go. Defendant Abram's YouTube channel. Now, this is an activist, someone that demands for change within our government. This is the person that demands change, demands we record every police officer, every public official, that we can't stop on the under condition, any, under any conditions or any circumstance. We must record all officials because the government is bad. We need to change it. We need to make him the overlord. Defendant Abrams' YouTube channel features videos of Defendant Abrams entering limited and non-public forums. He starts it off by actually sounding like a, like a troll channel, like a 1A hating channel. Uh, libraries, child and protective, service, protective support facilities, city halls, post offices. To film employees and visitors in purposeful violation of facility policies prohibiting filming. So the first thing that he's saying in his lawsuit uh, is that um, there is there is expectation of privacy in public and that it's against a lot of film. That's that's the first thing he's saying as an activist in his lawsuit of free speech against an actual uh, activist. Yeah, the auditors don't actually fight for our free speech. They're only fighting for their right to speak. They hate it when we speak back and when we tell them they're wrong even though they're often wrong. <laughs> it's kind of silly and kind of funny. They don't get it that they're the little tyrants. They run around calling people tyrants, you know, the little ass Elmo. Oh, you're a tyrant, you know, no. You're a tyrant, you little freak. You're the tyrant. Um, Defendant Abrams then refuses to leave the facilities when commanded, refuses to cease the filming, and publishes to his monetized YouTube channel, the the monetized YouTube channel, the controversial employee and visitor reactions that his filming triggers on video. The defendant publishes the contact information of the employees and visitors that he films for the defendant's YouTube audience to overwhelm with threats of violence and sexual violence. Um, 
not once have I ever put anyone's address uh, on, on a on a YouTube uh, video. Once uh, one of my videos picked up a, a person's phone number, and I removed the video like as soon as as soon as that was was done. Um, so, but no personal information. We do not share people's addresses. Uh, we don't do any of that. Even when we do public records requests and I get cops or other people's information, never, never put out their, their address. Uh, allow me to continue to the next part. Um, and after I publish the contact information, um, I ask my audience to overwhelm them with threats of violence and sexual violence. When have I when have I ever done that? Hey you guys, that post office lady was a real dick. Here's what I want you to do. <laughs> what's what's actually happening? Um so he's he's only claiming in this lawsuit that he uh that he's it's cost him about three thousand dollars. Uh he's suing me for seven hundred thousand dollars in and thereabouts. Hold on. I'm trying to pull up this real quick. Okay. So let us let us do this. I'm going to share my screen so all the folks at home can in, in enjoy this. Um, so this is Social Blade, right? So let's go on Social Blade. Okay. I'm going to type in the character known as Delete Laws. Now, this isn't like 100%. This is not fail-proof. Um, the numbers could be up or down, but it's not drastic. Uh, so let's check this out. So his yearly earnings on YouTube from the creation of his channel, because I we went back, there was a lot of dormant activity. This is only since he's been monetized, which is about five months now, uh, just over five months. So the yearly earnings, and the year's not even over yet, he's only projected to make... $10.9,000. Folks, I have made that in a month. So he is alleging uh, in this lawsuit uh, that this court has uh, the matter in controversy. It's cost him over $75,000 between different states. Right. So this, my activities engaging in free speech have cost him $75,000 on a channel that won't clear 11 grand. That's, that's pretty uh, pretty excessive there. But the defendants, uh, let me let me read this to you here. <clears throat> Defendant Abrams um, intended their defamatory, defamatory statements to inflict emotional distress upon the plaintiff or knew or should have known that their defamatory statements would inflict such emotional distress upon the plaintiff. The defendant's statements were extreme and outrageous beyond all possible bounds of decency and were utterly intolerable in a civilized community. The defendant's statement caused the plaintiff distress. The distress inflicted by the defendant upon the plaintiff was severe and of a nature that no reasonable man could be expected to endure it. Why not include women in this? There's a woman included in the, in the law. Why isn't it like any person could endure? Because we all know that Delete Lips allegedly uh, finds women beneath him, which is why uh, well, you know, I'm just going to put it out there and say it. This is not alleged. Um, he did take a, a deferment, which he lied about on camera, and he said that I was defaming him by saying this. And then, thankfully, Chile cleared the air for us. Delete Law cleared the air, where he admitted to a Massachusetts judge that he was filming, that did not know he was filming, where he didn't have the legal capacity to film and record the conversation, uh, where he admitted that uh, he actually did take a diversion program for selling DHB, GHB, which is the date rape drug. I actually have those, um, that video that he recorded in court. It's on my channel. I just go through to the Chili playlist. It's in there. You'll hear him basically try to, uh, what does he try to do? Like fucking get a restraining order or something. And the judge ends up reading his criminal history out to him. And I don't know if he was live streaming or what, but he decided to just leave it up there on YouTube or post it up afterwards and let us all know his whole criminal history. Part of his defamation against me is because he's saying that I said 
he got arrested for selling uh, for selling the date rape drug. That is exactly. I mean, I can't change your criminal past. Nope, that's exciting. Uh, so here's here's we go. Here's we get here's we goes is here's we goes is uh, monetary uh, prayer for relief. It, it is a prayer, Chili. That's you are praying hard on this one. Monetary damages in the amount of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Compensatory damages in the amount of three hundred fifty thousand dollars per claim. Punitive damages in the amount of $350,000 per claim. Costs of litigation. All other equitable relief. So let's go back up. I'd like to go over... Um, he, he cites what the bad boy uh, Abrams has said. He, he cites how I've been a bad boy. And, and by the way, uh, anyone watching this, regardless of what channel you're from, this is a self-proclaimed civil rights activist that is fighting for your free speech while engaging in, in a vexatious lawsuit against a channel that actually allows free speech. Like we don't block people on the AFA crew, everyone gets a wrench. My other channel is just too big for that. Um, but, but we do real work. And, and what happened? Like, everything I said was true. This is all stuff that I have experienced with him. So now he's, what he's doing is he's trying to cover it up, right? So he's going to sue me. He's going to waste my time, the court's time. He's going to waste the taxpayer's time. He's going to waste everybody's time with this bullshit. Uh, and he said that. He's actually said that in his cease and desists uh, to myself, uh, to, to Masshole. He says that I don't, and I'm paraphrasing. I don't, I couldn't find the exact one. Someone can send it to me in Discord. That's great. Um, but I'm paraphrasing pretty much right on point. He says, I don't care that this doesn't win. I'm going to do this because it's going to cost you time and it's going to cost you money. So you're going to stifle someone's free speech because it doesn't align with your own or because it calls you out and makes it, makes it, you know, you to be the grifter that you are in my estimation. Let's take a look at this. <clears throat> There's, there's so much. Um, okay. From January 22, the date the plaintiff created his YouTube channel, Delete Laws, to May 2022, they, the date that the defendants began defaming the plaintiff. The plaintiff's YouTube channel views, watch hours, subscriber growth, YouTube like to dislike ratio, YouTube revenue, and website revenue were growing between 10 and 20% per month. The plaintiff was at all times material on a meteoric rise to popularity. That's what this is about, Chili, isn't it? Your meteoric rise to popularity. Let's see if your revenue grew that much. Because it didn't. Um, so you you were making uh, about $1,200 to $2,000 a month, okay? Uh, so you are estimated to make $912 this month. So you haven't really lost anything. You're down 10% on your views. Oh, I want to hear him in court be like, yeah, judge, I was grifting so much damn money. And then all these trolls came along and exposed what I was doing. And well, now I can't grift any money. Oh my gosh. And you think the judge is going to care about that? You're crazy. For the last 30 days. So that's the first part of his uh, lying lawsuit right there is the fact that he'll misrepresent anything um, because that, that helps him. And why is he doing this? Because if just by putting it in motion, right, he can say, oh, you guys, I just paid $400 for this lawsuit. I did this. I did that. I need your help. Send me money. That is what I believe he's doing, right? This is my estimation of what he's doing. Uh, if If he loses, which ultimately he will, um, he can then say, well, the courts are against me. The courts have already established that anything done to me is consistent with trolling. So now all the courts are against me. Deborah needs the dehydration station because she's she's dehydrated. And the, the courts are against me. And because they are against me, I ask that all you people support me in my continued fight for justice so we can overturn this court and appoint me your supreme douche leader. Like... This lawsuit, I had an actual attorney look at this yesterday and his actual, his, his, and I, I told people as soon as I find out, uh, I quote, fatally flawed. Okay. Now in comparison to the other legal paperwork that he had Bobby Dickhead write up, uh, this lawsuit structurally is much more sound. Uh, there are some spelling mistakes, but much less so. You can see at the bottom of this when it is released by other people, 
um, that it says this was ghostwritten by a person with no legal experience. Um, so if, if Bobby Dickhead Laws is an actual lawyer, maybe you should go see this person. However, um, the amount and compensation that he's, he's literally saying, I've lost about three grand because of these people between my website, between my views, between my super chats. Oh, Britt, welcome and thank you. Um, you know, I've been severely incapacitated. People have called me out and it's hurting me financially. Let's try and scare them into stopping. And that's what he's doing. He's using the court to stop us from saying what he's done to us and trying to stop him from doing what he's done to me, to other people. I don't want to see that happen. Um, but he's claiming they're in the midst uh, when he's citing everything that he's lost, he's lost about three grand. Let's just say he meets the federal minimum for the $75,000. If he's projected to make 11 K to the end of the year, he's probably only made about six right now, seven ish. Right. When did he times that by, by 10? I mean, and not for nothing, but I would say that, like, you know, what is the definition of a grift? He's selling access to public records that you can get for free. Let's continue. Um, this is really funny. Defendant Abrams live streamed a video on his YouTube channel. Defendant Abrams live streamed the video from his home. The title of the video is Delete Laws Truth, Lackluster and Freeman Joins. The link to this video is in the, the chat. He said it generated over 17,000 views, almost 700 comments, and $1,000 in revenue. That is false. That is, that is not, that it, like, the number is less than half that. Okay, and it was mostly on Super Chats. Uh, so he's now doubled the amount of revenue that was made in that video, um, maybe to, to, you know, we know that he doesn't tell the truth. Um, okay. He sets up businesses to get monetary assistance from investors and then to apply for lines of credit. But once it comes time for registering the business, he lets it fall flat and starts a new business. It's kind of a Ponzi scheme that pays back previous investors. Now he cites, uh, the plaintiff's products are the happy hammock and the jock sock. He conveniently left out coded friends. He did not include that. And discovery is a son of a bitch. Okay. All right. Now, um, I, in this video, I was in his live stream and I asked him about this. I said, Hey dude, did you ever get arrested for, for GHB and, and take a plea or a diversion program? And this is the video that uh, then ensues. This is on the AFA crew. Okay. Story about how Delete Laws says he didn't sell GHB, but then admitted he sold GHB. Lead the charge. No, AFA, I didn't take a diversion program for GHB. That's not true, dude. That's defamation, you dunce cap. Josh, let Another my criminal record? No, I'm just looking at what's been presented to me as your right. criminal. We run the criminal record up like this in defense. We can't write it on the Okay, defense. go ahead. Thank you. I appreciate you listing it. Let's see what else is on there. 2002, uh, possession, sale of narcotics, manufacture of controlled substances. You mean charged with but not convicted? It says drug, drug court deferred, judgment term successful. Right. So yeah. I was given a diversion program, but I was I have no conviction of any kind of... I, I guess I'm just... I'm just confused and maybe everyone can help me at home. Is he, is he, is he suing himself? Um, I, I'm disseminating information that he's now granted. He didn't want that court recording put out publicly. Of course he didn't because every single video he said, nope, 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 nope. Didn't do this. Didn't do that. He admits in this court audio recording that he absolutely did. So if he's suing me, he's really in by proxy suing himself for defamation and, uh, and libelous. Um, but notice how we changed the words. He said manufactured. I didn't say manufactured. I said you arrested for selling it, which you thankfully admitted in court. And he then goes on to explain that I say that he uses people as a line of credit. Um, and cashes in on them. 
And that also has defamed him, has caused him emotional distress and exhaustion, and he's now lost monetary gain because of that. What be we looking at now? So you guys are going to remember um, that uh, delete laws on his panel had, I don't want to, I can't remember everyone now. I know Aaron, Aaron was one, uh, Great Lakes, um, Christie was one, and there were two other people I forget. But anyways, he says, this, he says, let's have a stream. This is to recover from the whole parade incident. He says, let's do this. He goes, I'm going to have a show and I'm going to talk about each one of your stories individually. And when I bring up your stories, I'm going to bring you up. And then I'm going to post your PayPal, your Cash App, your Venmo, your Zelle. Yes, Chili, it's called Zelle. Not Zelly, it's called Zelle, you fucking moron. Um, oh, I just got sued again. <laughs> Everyone in the chat, if you type Chili's a moron, you will be sued. Please don't do that. Um, but yeah, so, and then what he does, and then I said what he did afterwards is he collected all that money and kept it for himself. Now, again, is this a case of Chili suing himself? This is from his private chat in, um, what the hell is the name of that app? I've deleted it since. Signal. In in, in the fundraising uh, chat, I'm going to list yours and then anything over $5,000 will work with for it, for the people involved. But it's going to be tough to reach 5000 bucks. I'm going to list it and we're going to pull the money at the end. I have $4,000 going to Bobby and $1,000 going to Mo for the website stuff. For the public information request, demand for a return to property and for other documents. It's demand for a return of property, but this guy's an idiot. Great Lakes was smart enough to say Ohio public information requests. Um, and after this, uh, you know, of course, Great Lakes was on the phone on a call with Chili by his own admission and with Bobby. Um, and Bobby just told Chili, yeah, keep it all. But my question is, if you're telling people that you need a thousand dollars for Great Lakes and a thousand person, a thousand bucks for person B, a thousand for person C, a thousand for person D, why are you pulling the money at the end and keeping it for yourself to redistribute it? Because people won't give you the money on your own because your name isn't good. So you need to use other people's name, which means you're using them and their issues as a line of credit. It's like applying for any credit card. I have shitty credit. I want the new MasterCard with the pink kittens and the purple unicorn polka dots. But I have shitty credit. I can't get that car, that credit card. So I have to have someone else get it and put me on the card. They can get it. I have to use them as credit. Or if it's like I had a 2018 minivan and I needed someone to co-sign it because at 45, I couldn't get it myself. Oh, so so this is just fact is, is what we're is what we're doing here. Uh, and, and yes, in my estimation, it is called a grift. But folks, I think it important for you to know that Hot Steps been told you uh, every year puts on the annual Grifties Award for the best grifters of all time. There's best grifting duo, there's best female grifter, but one spot for a select person who is the very best among them gets the 2022 second annual grifty. Oh, look at that. I just casted my vote. I have nine remaining. The number one grifter voted in the nation is uh, Delete Laws. Bobby Laws is fifth, but you have people like uh, uh, Fauci, you have Amber Heard, um, you have Joe Biden, you know, you have some some heavy hitters. You have royalty, you have Schwarzenegger, you have The Rock, you have Don Lemon, Liz Cheney, LeBron James, and right at the top, the world considers him. So by the way, if you go to Grifties, G-R-I-F-T-I-E-S, Grifties.com, then you can cast your vote today. And I've heard as of last night, not from DMA, and I will speak to DMA about this, I have not had time to yet, that he plans to go to Denver to file suit against uh, DMA. Um, however, if you guys, I obviously am going to get an attorney. I am not chilly. I do not go into court pro se. Um, and like I said, my the attorney that I ran this by said that it was fatally flawed in the sense that, you know, you can't give someone the finger and then have them try and sue you for loss of life. You know what I mean? Like the crux of his argument, don't meet the criteria uh, and the compensation that he's asking for. So in 
this attorney's opinion, the judge is going to send it back to him and have him redraft it. Of course, there would be countersuits, and I don't see this lawsuit going very far at all. However, um, now uh, myself and the other parties involved are are going to be seeking representation. So, you know, Chile's big thing was, I can't believe he made money off talking shit about me. No, Chile, I, I made money off of recounting personal experiences and things that I know to be fact, and it just you know, people didn't like you. They thought that you were full of shit. Thought that you were full of shit. So, yes, I am. Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, listen to this. From May 2022, the date the defendant began defaming the plaintiff, to August 2022, the plaintiff's website gross sales declined from $4,000 per month to $300. He told me his biggest month in sales personally to me was 900 bucks. That was his biggest month in sales. So now we've inflated that times four. But when you look at this, uh, at this lawsuit, you know what he doesn't cite? I just went through the whole thing. He doesn't cite my allegations against him um, for everything that he did to me. He cites like, uh, he said that I stole 386 bucks from him. I didn't. Uh, that's a fact. I showed the receipts, but he doesn't recount that entire trip. What's weird is he's suing me for defamation for things that he's actually said that we have the clips that he said that we've regurgitated or have gone from his criminal record to use, but he doesn't recount the whole incident where he fucked me over. And that's the biggest defamation of it all. He said, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, pretty telling there. Pretty telling. Hold on one sec, guys. Philip, thank you so much. 15 from Philip. Yeah, guys. So anyways, um, Okay, hold on, what does it say? Uh, did you spot and cover this? Uh, the defendant's defamatory statements lowered the plaintiff in the estimation of the defendant's YouTube audience. Um, so like, uh, that's a great point that you bring that up. And I meant to, but I did not go over this. So if I say right now, um, delete LOLs, uh, if I say he sucks, which he doesn't, he's actually very, very funny. He, he's another person that engages in free speech and Chili tries to strike down. Um, and keep in mind what Chili said about actual activists, like what we do. Uh, there's no privacy. There's only privacy in public. And what we do is is harassing people. It's it's negative. That's that's your uh, your your advocate for free speech. But if I said delete LOL sucks and that's my personal assertion, which it's not. He's wonderful. Go subscribe. And then people in return say, oh, AFA doesn't like him. I'm unsubscribing. That, that, that's, that's not defamation. That's opinions. Are you going to take down every newscast and show? All he wants to do is lose another lawsuit so that way he can complain that the courts are against him and he can ask for more money from you. It only cost him $400 to waste the court's time and yours. Again, paypal.me forward slash accountability for all. Um, I really appreciate it. Got two super chats in this one. If you guys want to throw some in before I leave, that's great. Uh, we had three, actually. I didn't pin the other one. 20 bucks from Gurren Akiva. Um, Howard Rourke, my first super chat ever. Please take that carpet bagger down. And Splaticus Max uh, for the Decastrated Needs a Male Lover Fund. Um, this is uh, the Delete Defense Fund is what I'm calling it. Uh, the Defense, uh, the def Delete Defense Fund. That's a freedom fighter for you, though, folks. Delete laws. Hell of a freedom fighter. What a guy. Really special dude. Suing free speech activists. You know, it takes some kind of simp where total polar opposite people of communities like that hate me to love me, that hate activism, love activism, anti-police, pro-police, they find smack dab in the middle for the black hole of the internet. That's what this guy is. The black hole of the internet. Well, I mean, there is, you know, that common factor that is like, you know, the people on this side don't really care for Chile and the people on that side don't really care for Chile. The only problem is 
he is part of your guys' community, and you guys just turn on him. Um, so, I mean, that's all within, that's all in-house fighting on, you know, the auditor's end, which is amazing to watch. It's not like we don't do the same old here, obviously. You saw the Dr. Dave Rodder troll thing. Of course, I threw my hat in the ring. I always do. I'm always like, who wants some? Who ready to get these little hands? Pow, pow, pow. Just kidding. That's just kidding. <laughs> um, what you call it? All right. We'll just wrap that up there. Uh, see you guys in the next video.